friends, welcome to my channel. I am Denise, in case you've never been here. Welcome, subscribe, stay a while, let's be friends. Um, and if you have been here before, welcome back. Let's do this together. Um, so this is a DIY <laughs> on installing little lights, um, spotlights onto a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, no, I've never done this. No, I'm not a mechanic or an electrician. So uh, this should be a fun time. But um, yeah, so I have this <clears throat> little Jeep Wrangler. Her name is Sessie, and uh, she needs some spotlights. So I recently, so I recently purchased these. Let's see if you can see them. <clears throat> cow mounts, cow being C O W L. This is the cowl, um, and these bolt onto there, and then you affix the little spotlights on top through here. So, yeah. I have decided to install them myself, or at least give it a try. And so I thought you should film that. So here we are. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is um, how the box looked when it came in the mail. You can see, yo, yo, can see. You can see um, the little brand logo right there, Nylite. So let's open it up. See what we have. <laughs> um, oh, it's a it's a deer, like a stag. Okay, my light light everywhere. Thank you for choosing my light. And just a little bit of information about the product. Okay. More information on the product warranty. Okay, are these Ole Bay? Okay, so these are gonna be the instructions. <laughs> Hence why I am gonna need <laughs> to watch a video. Or six or seven, sorry, I was taking a drink of my coffee. It's morning, people, it's morning. Okay. Oh, I like those. So that is the light. That's where it'll be anchored on, and then the wiring. So that is the light. <clears throat> Packaged nicely. So we have two lights. We have all of the wiring. It's all inclusive. Oh yeah, because there will be this the switch that's uh, inside your car. Okay. An Allen wrench. The mounting brackets and bolts. mystery looking electrical thing. I think this is going to be obviously where you connect and then I want to say this is what you can use to crimp it down. But look, you girls know electrician, okay? I don't know. So I'm really happy with that in terms of being a full package with everything in it, um, especially for the price. Guys, life just got a whole lot simpler. The, the package that I have on my Jeep has the wiring already built in. So the little switch that the, <clears throat> the little switch that came with the lights, I shouldn't need to use. So I'm gonna show you on the inside of the Jeep, how they already have it built into the dash um, for auxiliary lighting. And then they already have it wired under the hood so that I should just be um, able to connect it and not have to do any feeding you know, wires through anywhere. Holla. Okay, let's take a look. So if you guys have the Wrangler JL with the tow and electrical package, as I understand it, they built in these four switches so that you can <clears throat> add auxiliary lighting and wire it directly into the Jeep and then just tap these buttons to be able to access the lighting. So I am now going to... Um, 
do my best to see if I can get this to work. So what Jeep end, ended up doing was, from the passenger side of the vehicle, if you come over here to the side of the battery, they have the wiring already ready for you to access. So I'm going to take it apart to access it and then we'll take it from there. When you pull the wiring out from, it's kind of just like secured right here on the side. So you will bring it out and then they have it nice, nice and secured with the electrical tape. So you'll take that apart and then you have four wires. So this is for auxiliary one, two, three, and four, as I understand it. One and two are these thicker wires that um, have a higher amp, I believe he explained it as. So these would operate something that needs more power, like maybe your um, wench that needs to, if you wanted to be able to access that from the inside of the car as well. And then these two smaller ones are for auxiliary buttons three and four, um, the purple and orange or blue and orange. Um, and these, I, as I understand it, are um, plenty of power to operate the spotlights. Okay guys, so I was able to watch some videos like I had said, and then I actually had to take a break and go um, to Napa Auto Parts and basically ask them about this <laughs> chaos of wires. Because <clears throat> what comes with the lights includes a an on-off switch. And because the wiring is already built into my Jeep and has the auxiliary switches inside on the um, lower part of the dash, I don't need this part. So just a couple videos that I had watched had me a little confused uh, as to whether or not I needed all of the rest of the wiring or just like a certain portion of it. Anyway, before making any drastic mistakes, I swung by Napa Auto Parts, made sure I didn't need any additional pieces and, uh, you know, made sure I understood how this was gonna um, hook up. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I think I finally have it truly figured out, or at least I understand what they told me. We'll put it that way. I understand what they told me. And so that's what I'm gonna do, and then we'll see if it works. So let's get into it. And before I actually get started, listen, this is just you and I hanging out, putting stuff on my Jeep, okay? This is just the stuff I do every day. I am in no way going to use any correct terminology and I am in no way going to use any of the correct tools. Okay, got it? Um, that's not what I'm here for. It's not an instructional video. I'm just showing you what yours truly does on a normal weekday. This is what I do. I figure out how to put lights on my Jeep. Okay, just so we have that clear. And by the way, just look how nice it is when the sunshine comes beaming through the treetops. I'll give you a moment. You're welcome. Okay, so my wiring. This end here belongs to the two lights. Sorry, I have it tangled a little bit. Oh, hi, Lily. Uh, nobody. Okay. <laughs> you want to join? You want to help them, mommy? Dude, I, this is not where you belong, okay? You, you really shouldn't be up in here. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to do it anyway, ain't you? Okay, tell the people hello and I'll get down. This is the part that had connected to the on-off switch that they gave me. I'm going to actually need to cut these three wires off. So we'll do that in a minute. But first I'm going to put down the positive and the negative in their correlating spots. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have the wiring super kinked up, which at the moment I do. So, okay, so I'm gonna do this and I'm going to attach these 
to the red to red, and then the black just over here. <clears throat> okay, so that you guys can see where I am attaching these two, I am taking this nut off right here, and that's where I'm going to attach um, the black one, the black wire. And then I am going to take one of these one of these three off right here and that's where I will attach the red wire which is positive. So that is what I'm doing and just like a little bit of a closer up look so that you can see what goes where. There we go. Okay, so from the red size, my socket, the socket that I used is a 12 millimeter and the socket that I used on the other side for the negative, the black wire, was 14 millimeter. So now this is where I'm going to cut the wires here. This is the connector that went to the switch that they provided for me, but really I just need to attach it to the wire that is provided to the switch in my car. So here goes nothing because now I'm actually about to cut something and then there's no going back. So here's to hoping that the fine gentleman at Napa Auto Parts did not lead me astray. I have faith in them. Alright. So as they described it to me, I actually just need to hook the white wire up to the orange wire and then just tape off the black and the red here. These are not needed. So I'm going to cover these really well with electrical tape and then I'm going to expose some of the white one and attach it to the orange. So I am going to first just, you know what? So I'm just gonna first cover these with the electrical tape. That way they're done and I can forget about them and not worry about it. Black wire, red wire, all taped up so we have nothing exposed in the um, under the hood in the car ever okay so now I'm going to expose some of the white I probably could do this with a knife okay so So I exposed some of the white. And now I'm going to expose the orange. Hi, Halloween. Coming back? Hmm? Really? Is that the is that the shot you want to give to the people? <laughs> like little hairy cat ass. I feel like I should get away. Hi buddy, I can't pet you right now. I'm in the middle of a project. Okay, I have exposed the orange wire here and I have exposed the white wire here. So I am going to actually twist the two of these together like this and then put them inside of here. So 
So I'm just gonna leave it like this now. If it actually works, I'll crimp it down and then I'll wrap the whole thing in electrical tape. I don't, I just don't think this is the right piece, but we'll see. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna leave that there for right now. Okay, so this is the light. It has a nut on the inside of the underneath, which is where the bolt will go in, and then it'll secure down onto the mount that I have here on the passenger side. Okay guys, I'm gonna quickly show you the installation of the light. And then hook up the wiring to it. Figures my battery's about to die. <clears throat> so first, this is the piece that comes with it. So first I'm going to drop the bolt down in there. That is what's gonna anchor it to my cow mount. Put a washer under there. But before I actually anchor this um, onto the mount, I'm going to put the light onto the bracket. So here's the bracket. There's a little nut up in there. And so it, when you, once you attach it to this, it allows it to be, you can adjust it to angle it. So there's just a little bolt that screws into the nut, like that. And then I'm going to center it and then tighten it with an Allen wrench. And then I'll worry about adjusting them later, adjusting their angle. So there, so now I have the bolt at the bottom and I can use a washer and a nut to attach it to the cow mount. So I just wanted to show you really quickly the wiring for the light after it's been attached to the mount. You basically are just attaching the red to the red and the black to the back black to the black and then I just taped it up with electrical tape to protect the wires. Same thing on this side you can very easily see that you just connect the black to the black and the red to the red and then I taped it up. Hey Bean. Hey what you got going on there? Give me some rain -X. Aw thanks Bean. So then I secured the wires here so that they don't dangle down into the engine. Fill her up, Bean. And so then you just have the wires tucked behind there, tucked in here. I apologize for the fact that I stopped filming after a while. I did this over several days. Guys, look how cute they are. So again, the cowl mounts that I chose and they attach right to the front side panel. And then this is the spotlight now that it's fully installed. So I anchored it right here and I put the wire through here. It comes underneath and then under the hood. One thing that I was a little, um, I wouldn't say unhappy with, but wish that it was different. There's not a left and a right to the lights. They are both made exactly the same. So on this side, the wire doesn't come out from here and, and um, insert into this little hole here. It comes out back here, and so it just feeds underneath. So I wish that either I was able to feed the wire through here or that on the other side, I was able to feed it back through there. Anyway, there's not a left and a right. So on this side, the wire comes out over here and just feeds underneath and doesn't have to be put through that little hole. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm pretty happy with them. And yes, those are Sasquatch feet across the hood of my car.
So I thought I would show you the end product and how the lights look at nighttime. This of course is just my low beam headlights on. Uh, you can see how much light that I get straight out in front of the vehicle. And then of course the lights are off. And then now we'll take a look at it with turning them on. Okay guys, so that is what it looks like with the lights on. You can see that it shines further up the hill and cast that white light up into the hill and then down here is more of like the orange regular lights from the headlights but maybe I'll play with the angle a little bit I'm getting a lot of light on the hood of the car but and I'll try not to blind you but that's the end product that's what they look like at nighttime when they are lit up so thanks for joining me and thanks for suffering through the installation of those but I'm really happy with it.